are the skills that have actually best served me um, over the years? Number one, I, it, it has to be programming. And I don't even spend most of my time programming. I spend um, at, at most at most 20%, probably less than that per week, probably sub 5% of my time is actually spent programming and building out automations per week. But um, understanding code, so I started off with HTML and CSS, that is what you should have as like a basic. And then you could even choose to go with something like um, Python, which is quite a versatile language and can be used for a lot of different things. Um, but personally, my experience is in JavaScript, um, predominantly with Node.js, uh, which is for back-end programming, um, and then I have some experience, like light experience with a few different front-end frameworks. Uh, Next.js, I really like, and is what I use most at the moment, um, which is a, a built, built on top of React, and then the other one that I used to use quite a lot is Vue.js, and the reason that I like them is because, again, I'm not, I don't consider myself a professional engineer. I'm someone who tinkers with code. I can build websites, I can build bots, I can build everything that I need to, um, but I haven't got a computer science degree or anything like that. Um, I teach myself what I need to know and I suggest you to, to do the same. And so the way that I do that is I, um, when I first started off, when I had to build my first website, Shopify was something like $40 per month, I think. And I literally just didn't have the money to be able to pay $40 per month. Um, so I, I taught myself HTML and CSS and so the way to start off with that, I've got an old video on my channel of, of literally how to build a website for free with HTML and CSS and how to integrate a payment gateway, how to integrate um, how to integrate PayPal. Um, and so you can download HTML and CSS templates for very, very cheap. Um, and then you can simply edit the text on the website. And that is literally how I got started. And then when I started to wanted to make more elaborate changes, let's say I wanted to move a section of a website, I had to figure out how to do that. And it's, it's quite easy to do, but <laughs> at, at the time it definitely didn't seem so. I know what it's like um, for people who don't understand programming, when you see like all these lines of code in like a movie screen or something, and you've got no idea what's going on. That's exactly what it feels like. But very quickly, you, you can pick it up, especially HTML and CSS, super, super simple. Um, and then when I wanted to make more like elaborate changes from there as well, like I wanted to put countdown timers on the website and things like that that required some JavaScript or I wanted to integrate plugins, like I needed whatever Google Ads tracking or whatever it may be. And then I wanted to make a sign up form and like a login, like an authentication login system. And you have to understand how to uh, include plugins and so on. Um, so you kind of just naturally just build up your skill set, but I only know things that are like actually useful to me because that's exactly, as I just said, when I had a problem, when I wanted to add some type of functionality to our website, I would have to go and figure out how to do it um, because I didn't have the, the resources to hire developers. Um, I simply didn't, didn't have the money. So I had to teach myself. And the great thing about programming is there's like a huge online community and people answer everyone's questions. You may get called an idiot a couple of times <laughs> by some more senior developers, um, but you can literally Google like Stack Overflow. There's plugins out there for pretty much anything, particularly like the type of stuff we're talking about, like building landing pages and so on. Um, most issues that you have, not most, every issue you've had in programming, someone else has had before you, particularly at like a basic and, and middle level. Um, so it's very easy to just Google and, um, and and find the answer to anything. So programming, and the reason that I love it as well is I learned, I started learning programming 10 years ago. I still learn programming to this day. It served me very, very well. It changes your mindset and how you approach problems. It changes the possibilities of how you approach problems. Um, it opens up the ability for you to build software companies. If you are going to be the CEO of a software company, I highly encourage you to have some basic technical understanding. Previously, when I ran software companies, because I was able to code and I understood, um, I wasn't as good as the developers, but I was able to communicate with them in a way of understanding how we would go about tackling a particular problem. They always appreciated it and, and they, they loved it working with me compared to working with like a non-technical CEO and still to this day like I'm, I'm in touch with those developers I work with uh, often asking if I'm starting up a software project um, so yeah programming is just absolutely I suggest you to learn it particularly with the direction the world is going in 
uh, with AI and things like this to have an understanding of how these various things come together 